All right, my dude. I got I, I, one thing I do want to check out because uh, we got Sunny B too. You're willing to sub to everyone at this point. I mean, yeah, why not? I mean, I don't know. What, <laughs> what do you mean? What, 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 what's what's wrong with that? I don't. Is there like a limit? I don't know. <laughs> Xander received four no's from the X Factor like, judges. Her entire life fell apart over a ten year period, and the whole thing was documented on camera. From a I don't think I don't think anything wrong uh, bad happens if I sub to everyone. No. <laughs> It does anything bad happen besides like my feed gets like awesome, right? Hundred different angles. It all began with this email right here, in which Zoe first reached out to the X Factor, requesting to appear on the show. Did anyone actually ever watch X Factor? I, I, I honestly am not a huge live action like show kind of dude. I never really watched that kind of stuff. Yeah, the limit is oh awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of zeros. You know what? I'll get there. I'll get there. Don't you worry. Explaining that she was get a 22-year-old pink impersonator but wanted to audition as herself. After being accepted as a contestant, Zoe was asked to send through five songs she wanted to sing, yet the X Factor then specifically demanded that Zoe audition as pink. They wanted me to sing a pink song. He basically said that if I didn't, I wouldn't be going on the show. So I agreed. After agreeing to do so, Zoe was invited in for an interview where they can- Wait, so they purposefully demanded that she just lie that she was pink? Why? I'm thirsty. Hold on, I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Hold on! I'm grabbing a beverage. I got this taro flavored boba. I got a taro I got a taro flavored boba. A pocas. Taiwan classic bubble tea. Taro with tapioca pearls. Freaking delicious, bro. About pink. Oh, it's straight oh, fruit loop in, in like in like a pink. tea. Have you seen pink you... P.S. You what an amazing dress. You know pink's real name. Do you think you're like pink in real life? With Zoe adding that they had no interest in her Love personally, coconuts. showing that the X Factor had an ulterior motive to create a story out of her being pink. Before heading out on stage, one of the X Factor producers then encouraged Zoe to give an overly emotional performance. And he said, make sure you use all of the stage. If the judges say no, beg them cry get down on your knees and beg so when she'd appear in front of the judges just a few what? minutes later this is what went down and i'm gonna sing so what by pink pink okay off you go. After stating that she was gonna sing So What by Pink, Zoe gave a boisterous emotional performance using the whole stage with excessive facial expressions. However, the focus on her physical delivery and a few other things which we'll talk about later meant the singing was fairly average, leading the judges to stop her mid-song before stating this. I honestly think that you need to go away and take the time to find yourself as an artist despite this the judges were kind enough to give her a second chance should we get a second song yeah yeah wow that's so weird and honestly i i have heard about situations like this where the the like crew will sort of like try to get certain uh reactions out of you try to set up certain scenarios with you but it's kind of like as someone who's who would be in there, me personally, I would be too panicked. Like I would, one hundred percent. What? Who was it? Was it Penn and Teller? Penn and Teller used to talk about how, like the I, 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 there's a phenomenon where whenever you're up on stage with a magician, if a magician tells you to like open a secret door and hide behind it, your instinct is just to in, in, just do whatever he asks you because you're up on stage. It's just like this human instinct where you just you just go along with the trick, even though like. You know, you could easily just like defraud the guy right then and there, but it's like a weird phenomenon where you just you just go along with it because now you're in on the joke too. You see, <laughs> you know, so uh, uh, it's just this like I I can absolutely understand where she would have just done whatever she was told to do, no matter what, you know, which sucks, you know. But uh, wow, if that is true, that's an interesting one, and and that's I feel I feel sad for her. You finally get a chance to like really show your chops, you know. But let's see, maybe on the second one. Your eyes sometimes just stare at my soul and it's scary. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I go where no one can follow. <laughs> I want to give you a chance.
chance. Yet she was then stopped midway through her second song before the judges once again implied that they didn't think she was good enough. Because at the moment it just sounds like every other average sort of singing voice. But as the judges explained that she wouldn't be going to the next round, Zoe turned the criticism back onto them. You told me to sing a pink song. I didn't want to sing a pink song. Never, you guys told me never to, told sing you to sing a pink song. Zoe then proceeded to lose her temper before bringing her dad onto the stage, swearing at the judge. Oh, snap! Oh, so she just did not take it well. ...and throwing the microphone toward them. After some more chaos then went down backstage, Zoe lashed out... To be fair, they also told her to, like, go ham, apparently. <laughs> Out of the cameraman ending the segment. However, in terms of negative feedback, this was really only the start. The family was so distraught from the event that they drove home in silence, yet Zoe seemed convinced that they wouldn't include her performance in the final cut of the show. I still didn't believe that they would show my audition on TV. I mean, how could they show the systematic bullying leading to a breakdown of a woman? It would be too upsetting. Until about an hour. I mean, that's, that's, that's exactly what they were hoping for. What do you mean? That's, they got, they got the shot, you have to understand, they, they got what they wanted. They, they, that was that, that was exactly why, <laughs> why you have vampire mouth. Oh, so, uh, for those who don't know, I am a pygmy, uh, my, this, this whole monkey design is based off of a pygmy monkey, pygmy marmoset. Uh, that is just how our teeth are. You see, because we have to use those sharp teeth in order to bite into trees to gather sap. We eat very small, like fruits, insects, sap, mainly sap. It's like pretty much a mostly sap. <laughs> like ninety nine percent sap, basically. Every once in a while, a little bit of fruits there, here and there. You know, little, little, you know, opportunistic hunters and whatnot. But uh, yeah, sap, mainly, mainly sap. Just bite it to the tree and start sucking on it. <laughs> it's it's that noise actually. That is that is a that is a direct noise. After a that wasn't me. I actually just played a uh, history channel, uh, a sound effect. Driving home, when a Daily Mail reporter who was at the audition called the family to get a statement for an article and to tell Zoe that she was definitely going to appear on television. They will edit it in any way they can to show it on TV because it is TV gold. With this information, Zoe's mental health began to decline rapidly. I couldn't sleep. I just, I just stayed up every night. I can't stress to you enough what an emotional wreck I was. I didn't trust anyone and I just kept breaking down, crying. Made even worse by the countless articles talking about the situation before the episode had even gone live. Then, after six weeks of fear, Zoe's phone began to ring. I got a phone call from the X Factor informing me that they were going to air my audition. I was honestly so terrified, I just said no and put the phone down. Within hours of the episode going live, the performance was being called the most shocking audition ever, while other publications such as The Mirror called her X Factor's most shocking contestant ever. As a result of this, Zoe stated I was recognised everywhere I went, laughed at, pointed at, threatened. Both myself and my dad have been threatened with violence to the point that my dad had to physically defend us. I'd go to the Jeez, dude. gym and people would watch the video on their phones in front of me and then whisper and laugh. Despite this, like, why? Judge Tulsi Constastavlos refused to change her attitude on the situation, stating there is always going to be the odd person who throws a massive hissy fit. Thousands of people over the years have auditioned, and this one person couldn't control their temper and threw a fit. But I don't think that's a reason for everyone to go, you've got to think about their emotions. But I, I guess if, uh... I got your poll you said yesterday. Yeah, I got... I, I completely forgot about that from, uh, uh, uh the spiffing Brit... Amazing dude, amazing dude. I forgot that he had that thing. I actually, for the longest time, I wasn't able to use that little freaking algorithm trick. Except that, uh, I guess YouTube, like, reduced the, uh, the, uh, uh, uh requirements for you to be able to po do posts and stuff. So I figured, eh, why not give this thing a shot? See if that still works. Meh. Uh, uh, please check him out, though. He's in, he's in the middle of another algorithm, like, YouTube algorithm breaking freaking event apparently it's gonna be freaking awesome check out the spiffing brit that guy breaks the youtube algorithm constantly it's hilarious that was one person those are her issues and she chose to bring those issues to the stage given she now had no other option zoe began to defend herself by stating that the show deliberately tried to make me out to be this girl with a bad attitude before she theorized that the x factor deliberately encouraging her to sing a pink song was part of a plan to increase ratings through televising a poor performance which would explain why the producers in encouraged her to be a 
emotional in the minutes before the audition. Zoe Alexander was set up for a fall, and yes, she couldn't sing, but that isn't the issue under discussion. Setting people up to mockery by deliberately enhancing their self-image beyond their talents is cruelty bordering on human rights infringement. Zoe's volatile nature would have been spotted in one of the earlier auditions, and then stoked up so she would outburst on TV, and thereby encourage a flagging audience to tune in with the expectation of future Jerry Springer moments. Shameful, just shameful, yet others were a little less compassionate. Look, she may have been set up by producers, which isn't fair, but at the end of the day, she can't sing. The judges were just being polite by using the identity thing as an excuse because she did get to sing a second song, which she was also rubbish at. Her violent slash physical outburst was wrong full stop. Yes. Yeah. Like, my, yeah, I, I have to, like, like, that's the problem with this, is that I, I feel like both people are correct. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it was messed up that how they set her up. Full stop. Just messed up. All the way around. But also, having realized that you've been set up, you probably shouldn't have thrown another t a tantrum, you know? Like, like just at, yeah, at what point, at what point is it their fault, you know? Don't, don't throw up tantrum. Uh... What happened? Uh, this is gonna make it to the video, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, dude. I, I leave everything. I don't I don't I don't I don't censor anything. <laughs> I hate censorship. If I say something, I mean it. I don't care who who watches it. Uh yeah, no, uh 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 As far as the uh 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 Darth Nomad, how's it going, my dude? Uh uh welcome to the chat, my dude. Uh we're just sort of checking out this freaking like crazy situation with the X Factor uh and the pink lookalike lady. Yes, it's unfair for producers to mislead her, but her reaction was atrocious and very bratty. Also, her dad shouldn't have brought her back onto the stage either, as this escalated the whole situation. She got to sing two songs, whereas most people get to sing one, and she wasn't good enough end of. Yet Zoe didn't stop pushing back against what had happened. Approximately seven months after the audition went live, an article was published by BBC News titled X Factor Cleared Over Pink Tribute Act Complaints, in which it was explained that Zoe had gone to the government broadcasting agency Ofcom claiming that the X Factor had ignored her track choices, changed her song list and dictated her outfit and hairstyle, insisting on her appearing in her pink persona. Yet the agency found that the judges' comments were balanced and her violent reaction after the audition was unacceptable by any standards, whatever her perceived grievance. Accordingly, Ofcom is- Okay, but now it's like, all right, look, you, you make do it what you got. What are you doing? Like, I get it. Okay, yeah, they it was messed up. They set you up. Uh, all right, sure. But uh, now you kind of got the stage on you. If you do got the, the singing chops, show it off now. You got the whole world staring. Whether they're laughing at you or not, you should probably, you know, just freaking make your own YouTube channel. Do something. Spotify. SoundCloud. Not Something. upheld Miss Alexander's complaint, with articles such as this one perpetuating Zoe's nightmare. People said to me, oh, don't worry, it'll blow over, it won't last forever, and it lasted. Oh no, it'll last for the for eternity, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like it's not. No, you you will never live it down and it will, it will always haunt you for the rest of, as long as the internet exists, you will, you will, there will, it will, it will haunt you. Uh, however, you could turn it into something awesome. Uh, uh, and that's the only way to get out of it. For years and years and years. Things became even worse when Zoe's performance racked up almost a hundred million views in compilations such as these two. However, with comments such as, I don't trust any of these after hearing Zoe Alexander's story, it seemed there was more that was yet to be discussed. On the 20th of July, 2020, Zoe uploaded her own video titled Zoe Alexander X Factor The Truth, in which she now revealed the performance itself had been edited and even CGI'd to make the X Factor look good and Zoe look bad. She stated the judges actually began the audition by essentially insulting her. And he moved on to tell me that I was very overconfident, which wasn't shown on TV. And after she started singing, the audience went crazy by cheering. However, in the final cut of the show, this had been reversed, so the audience was instead cheering while the judges gave their opinions. In the broadcast footage, the audience Is that true? Had been completely changed. The audience Yo. Was clapping and cheering her words as if she was voicing the opinion of the entire audience. In fact, the audience at that moment no way. was in silence. As a person who was in the audience, oh. we were told to keep quiet when the judges say anything. So yeah, you're definitely telling the truth. Zoe went on to explain that the music Judge, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> a hopeless romantic of my life surrounded by couples all the time. I guess I should take it as a sign I'm feeling lonely. Oh, I wish I find a lover that could hold me. Dude, are you alright? Now I'm crying in my room. 
so skeptical of life. <laughs> well, understood. Got it. You all right, my dude? Do you need a? Do you need a? Do you need a hug? <laughs> I would give you one, but my freaking my little arm thing broke. <laughs> I gotta order another one. Music they played was also different to what she'd said. But I still wanted more, more, more. And through uh, understandable, my dude. Was not the track that I had sent him. It was in a. Trust me, man. You'll get there someday. You'll get there, bro. Different Don't even worry about it. Track. And when she'd thrown the microphone, she'd done so because they'd turned it off while she was explaining what had happened. Then I realized that they turned the microphone off, and that was when I threw it to the floor. But somehow in, in the video, I throw it like that. I didn't. I, I threw it to the floor. Zoe then debunked the seg. I mean, the video speaks for itself. What do you mean? I gave my second chance to Cupid. Where she'd seemingly. Well, there's your first problem. That guy don't know nothing. You should have gave it to me. I would have gotten you. Uh, I'm like a love doctor. Too late now, though. You gave it to Cupid. I can't. I can't help you anymore. I gotta. I gotta. I got a strict non-compete clause with that dude. He walked off and come back with her dad. I categorically <laughs> the stage and subsequently return hand in hand with my father. Once again, the footage has been completely fabricated. Another example of the X Factor's over imaginative editing. Before she added that even the judge's comments had been inserted at a later date. Also, Nicole. All right, but I'd like to see if there's like actual original footage of oh, that. Did not stand up and say no, baby, no. That did not happen. So they were cut in afterwards to produce the footage in their fictitious storyline. After heading backstage, another scene was filmed in which Zoe begged the cameraman to stop filming. <laughs> However, this also didn't make the cut. I, I was saying, please, please stop filming me. Please stop filming me. This scene was cut from the broadcast footage and replaced with even more fabricated footage, which better suited their storyline, as it didn't portray me as aggressive. The real footage would have clearly demonstrated the broken and emotional state into which I had been bullied. And with this information, everybody began to stand up for her. I admit I was one of the many who laughed and thought you were this crazy lady who was just mad that you lost the audition. I'm so sorry, they're so horrible for doing you like this, with others informing Zoe that her video had blown up outside of YouTube. Over on TikTok, a relatively small account made a 15 million view video talking about what had happened, which when duetted by Zoe, gained a further 27 million views, with almost everybody sticking up for Zoe. As a result, Nicole Scherzinger's comment section began to fill with comments regarding Zoe's So wait, did they actually release like an actual Did I miss that? Was I paying attention to the song lyrics over here by <laughs> treatment and therefore the judge did this Can we just talk about the fact that Nicole Scherzinger has blocked me on TikTok? Despite this, the mainstream media ran with the story causing the X Factor to backpedal rapidly You have made the X Factor turn off their Instagram comments you have made The X Factor turn off their YouTube comments, and you have made The X Factor change the title and description of my X Factor audition video. With the 19 million view audition video having since been removed altogether. On top of this, Zoe's appearance has also been taken out of the mega viral Top 5 Angriest Contestants video, which when considering Zoe's poor attitude and the show's sketchy editing, feels like a reasonable middle ground between the two parties. Wow. I mean, dude, that's why you can't trust none of that stuff. I love how you don't realize what I'm trying to say. You just don't know. I just don't know the song, probably. <laughs> dude, haven't you, haven't you realized by this point that I'm incredibly dense? <laughs> I don't know nothing, bro. In fact, the only thing I do know is that I don't know nothing. All right, bro. I love this. Thank you, Sunny. Me too. Thank you for letting me for 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 just get, finding all these weird cookie stories that I freaking loved it. I actually feel bad for her. She wanted to just be herself, and they pushed her to do something she didn't want to do. I really hope she's doing okay nowadays. Crazy how one person successfully shut down an entire segment of the entertainment industry. After what she did, no one ever uh, trusted talent shows ever again. They should be made into a movie. Yeah, I mean, that'd be an interesting one. I'd watch it. Ayo, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff. <laughs>